and the uh, the Browns. That's my team, featuring Dick Bass. Now, a lot of these Week One games were played pretty late <clears throat> in the season. This was <coughs> this is one I had a pretty decent start, and then ended up uh, getting just just well. You see what happens here. Another interesting one that does not get did not get recorded as an NSV was the uh, Eagles and the Cardinals, Pete versus Jay Brooks, and uh, Jay Brooks pulled that one out, and that was I remember monumental for me because it gave me a chance to get uh, the first place record in uh, the regular season and the one seed in the playoffs. Alright, so Butch Songjin gets the quick diver to Art Powell. Oh, we want to, let's get these uh, correct teams conditions up here. And Lewis comoing himself around. Del Schaffner was, I believe, my best secondary man, BB. Yeah. I had decent safeties, but Schaffner was the only one with 50 RP and <clears throat> 63. And he gets in. Who was that in the eye? I think I might have been, uh, was that Matzos? I think I was Matzos on that play. Just CC in your eye. Kowalczyk takes the return. It's it barely to the nine. Agazanin! That's right. <laughs> Anytime I would make a catch, or a kick, excuse me. Yeah. Ben Agazanin, he's great. Alright, the Marlboro man. Matriculates, gets a first down. Oh, and the pick play, but Dick Bass gets... Oh, gets yards and then gives it away. We don't see who picks it up. Not a great start for the Browns. A very nice play. Sanjing quick to Art Powell in the bottom. Just going after my weak uh, DB2 and DB4, relatively. Dean Derby from, I believe, Wenatchee. Unable. Maybe Leavenworth. I think he's from what, Leavenworth. Have to double check that. All right, down 14-0, not always a death knell, but let's see if Dick Bass can make anything out of it. He had a nice first run before fumbling it away. That was pretty good as well. Comes right back to it. All right, let's see what the conditions look like in quarter number two. Oh, the Marlboro man in bad, but Dick Bass in good. Looks like your favorite quarterback, Earl Morale, is going to get on the field. He was very clutch for me. I don't think I win the uh, spoiler alert. I don't think I win the uh, 
first tad championship without morale making a couple of big plays late. Joe Walton is feeling it. Chris Burford in his first stint with the Browns. Trying to recreate that magic. Oh, got lucky. I think he was a linebacker there, maybe Bill Pellington. I don't think that was in Norton's eye. The number was 50 something. Eric Barnes doesn't play. This team was drafted by Gonick Montana, and uh, he went heavy on the secondary. Look at that. got Jerry Norton, Eric Barnes, Bobby Boyd. Brown's trying to answer. A swift kick to base. He can't get free. Just still makes me sigh. All right, third and five, sitting on that run there. Hey, look at Earl being not good. I don't. I, he put it on the on the money. Dick Base just dropped it. That's that's Earl being not good. What do we do here? What do we do here? That was a case of Earl not being good. Yeah, well, I know you're going to blame Earl regardless. <laughs> this is known. And, yeah. That's Earl's fault, too. Earl, Earl failed there. We get the pick play. The block. I was hoping maybe get a safety. And yeah, he's just gonna toss it towards my... Oh, Dean Derby does some wonderful work blocking that. He attacks it again. Can Derby do it again? Oh no, the JJ. Not looking good. But he's just feeding Powell. He had he had wide receiver one wide open up top. Well, I guess it's late. You're trying to get trying to get a touchdown. Which Songin in good. Mm, the timing there looked kind of suspicious. All right, good half. We have our CFT Super Bowl. All right. Your man Tom Flores looking good. Harry Jagelski at the nose looking good. Dean Derby looking good, but look at Eddie Dove. Eddie Dove is like, you know, some people think I'm the worst DB on my team, but now I'm the fastest. And I can knock fools down. Oh, 
oh, we just missed the sliding tackle, Ta sliding block. Oh, little dipsy do by base. Couple of neat runs. One by uh, John Henry Johnson and one by Dick Bass. Oof, da. Again, morale cannot pick it up and take advantage. Down two scores, got to go for it. Goes for the jumping JJ and gets it. Burford moves the sticks. Deuce doing his tapping routine. Oh, nice block there by Deuce. He wants the interception. A 50-50 ball. Doesn't get it. Oh, base ran, ran out of bounds. Dick Bass. Oh, and then he gets just JJ picked in the end zone. I remember forcing that. I remember that. Being like, well, the wind is out of the sails. Dumb pass. <laughs> Earl. <laughs> Oh, I got a double digits and still got yanked. 11 to 10. Now Dan Lewis is just reporting all the way down the field. Wilson with the diving CC in Schaffner's face. Matzos gets his first sack of the season. All right. Final conditions here. Stransky. We got uh, juniors and BK's pops on the was on the field. And Flores gets some play. Likes the mobility. Schaffner gets crunched. <clears throat> Gamble that he wasn't going to pick that play, and of course he picked it. Doug Atkins can't get anything going against Walt Kudzik. Just like that, it's a 21-0 fourth quarter lead. 
Agajanin's in bad too. Just br brutality. Eric Barnes contains Dick Bass. Go, Dick, go. Probably run it again. Oh, and he picks it. So predictable. And what are you going to do down 21 0? It's not a three score play. Chuck it up to Walton. Or oh, Burford. O'Connelly's back in. Just can't get anything going. Stifled by the Broncos' defense. Gets Eric Barnes to dive and miss. <clears throat> Dick Base gets some yardage. Over the middle to Walton. Nice little shimmy shake. Gets breaks three through almost the five. To the five. And he hits <clears throat> Ollie Matson over the middle. Of course Ollie scores the only touchdown of this game for the Browns. <clears throat> Okay, okay. <laughs> Keep that same energy when we uh, rebroadcast the uh, 1960 TAD Championship. <laughs> uh... <laughs> he was pretty, I mean, he was pretty brutal for you. I will not. I won't downplay that. So Dan Lewis had a pretty good day for 44 MS back. Dick Bass had a good good day toting the rock other than fumbling it his first try and giving it away and not having a chance to uh, stay in the game, really. Morale somehow with above 50% completion percentage. Mostly to Burford. So, oh, we didn't put it on this one either. God, will you just click on that wall and stay there, bro? What do we have? We have pretty even yards. The inter <coughs> interception and the fumble. <coughs> Art Powell, probably the uh, player of the game. Yeah. All right, so we are going to move to a new ROM. Those were the non. No sprite flicker ROMs. And we're going to try this transition here using studio mode. So our next game <clears throat> looks like you versus uh, you 
you versus Invader. I'm going to try some relative magic here. Vader's home. Titans are on the road. You're going to, uh, what is it? Was that Rick, uh, Rick Astley? Never going to give you up. type your big long name here. Should I make it all caps? Because why not? No, I won't. Oh my gosh. Come on. Would you cooperate for once? Or once would you cooperate?